we're not looking at sound from a music perspective, from a music theory perspective. Because if you look at sound from a musical perspective, you have to get into the chromatic scales, the diatonic scales, primarily the diatonic scales, which like extracted from the chromatic scales to form the musical structure in the Western Hemisphere. And you know, why, why, why is there a low, why E chord is a low E and a high E? It's an octave. What is amplitude? What, is it, what, what causes amplitude? You know, what causes frequency? And when there's a force, let's, let's take an analysis of the physics of song on a very molecular level, on an infinitesimal level. When there's a force, this force creates an impact. This impact creates energy or emerges energy, emerges energy, emerges. You know, we're looking at sound from a physics perspective. You know, you're dealing with the collision of air molecules. And this air molecules is a coll collision. You know, and when you look at sound from a physics perspective, sound is a very fundamental basic phenomenon. There's an impact of, of sound from a physics perspective. I need to understand music. I need to 